2015, the year that brought us new Apple products at last, hacking scandals that rocked the internet, and a milestone near to every geek's heart. The tech world this year has been dynamic, divisive, even dangerous. Here are the 2015 tech moments that blew our minds, starting with a transitional phase for gadgets. This year, as the smartphone boom continued to cool, even high-profile handsets like the iPhone 6S, Moto X Force, Samsung's curvaceous Galaxy S6 Edge, and the invite-only OnePlus 2 all played second fiddle to headline-grabbing wearables like the Apple Watch, which received a positive, if not ecstatic, reception when it arrived in April. Other emerging technologies edged closer to commercial reality this year, with 4K landing on more TVs and even a smartphone, while HTC chose the spring to announce its Vive VR headset. 2015 will be remembered as the year that Apple gave us some more varied tech to play with. This year we rocked out with Apple Music, a streaming service to take on Spotify, fiddled with a brand new Apple TV with a gaming capable touchpad remote, and cowered in the shadow of the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, which appeared to take some design cues from Microsoft's Surface Pro series of hybrids, which in October added a fourth iteration that topped off a strong year for Satya Nadella and chums. We were impressed with Microsoft's first laptop and Windows 10, which in the summer corrected the missteps of Windows 8. But not all of 2015's tech was so cheery. In fact, this year saw technology becoming more fiercely politicised as new questions arose surrounding the future of the internet and our online security. 2015 began with concerns that Samsung TVs could be sending our private conversations to third parties, then got progressively more unsettling as a series of major hacks challenged our view on how private our online activities really are. Joining the ranks of Patreon, T-Mobile and kids technology firm VTech, extramarital dating site Ashley Madison was perhaps the year's highest profile security breach, with the data plunderers dumping private user data online a month after the initial hack. The lesson here is that nothing you do or say online is ever private. March in the US saw the FCC approve net neutrality rules, while hungry tech giants continued to consume each other. In May, US network Verizon snapped up AOL for $4.4 billion. Then in November, the maker of Candy Crush got gobbled up by Activision Blizzard for $6 billion. Om and indeed, nom. 2015 also saw the tech world take a much-needed look at gender discrimination, both within the industry and online, sparked in part by Ellen Powell, who stepped down as CEO of Reddit in July, having lost a high-profile gender discrimination lawsuit a few months earlier. In the gaming world, Microsoft's Xbox One and Sony's PS4 continued their deadly duel, while third place and Nintendo had a rougher year. Fan favorite company president Satoru Iwata sadly died in July, and the company dropped off a prestigious list of cool brands in October. Confirmation in March that Nintendo would start making games for smartphones gives us hope for a brighter future. And speaking of the future, 2015 was marked by a particularly significant date, one that's been in the calendars of geeks worldwide since the late 80s. The 21st of October 2015, the date that Marty McFly travelled forward to in sci-fi classic Back to the Future Part 2. Celebrities and brands alike leapt on this geek culture milestone, while the internet imploded with 1.21 gigawatts of fan fervour, mingled with a general dismay that the real 2015 is lacking in hoverboards. Well, unless you count those self-balancing scooters that suddenly seem to be everywhere this year. And if Back to the Future Day wasn't enough to satisfy your brain's nerd centre, 2015 had plenty more geeky thrills on offer. The Aaron Sorkin scripted Steve Jobs film finally got an airing, while geeks reveled in a Hollywood release schedule that featured Ant-Man, The Avengers, a Jurassic Park sequel and The Martian. Oh, and did we forget to mention a new Star Wars film? Chewie, we're home. <laughs> Space adventuring back in the real world went pretty well too. This year we found flowing water on Mars, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos' spaceflight company Blue Origin made history with a rocket that went to space then landed safely back on Earth, and NASA made our July with our closest ever look at Pluto, as the New Horizons probe sped just shy of 8,000 miles above the dwarf planet's surface. How's that for a bit of perspective, eh? But we want your perspectives too. What did you think of 2015's tech and what do you want to see next year? Let us know and stay tuned to CNET. Where's my eggnog latte?